Hey everyone, it's Cheryl from Teaching Two and Three Year Olds. For the month of November, up until Thanksgiving, our classroom is set up for pine cones and leaves and squirrels and some other forest animals. So the classroom is set up right now for these activities. And then as we move closer to Thanksgiving, we'll be adding some more turkey activities and talking about being thankful. So let me take you around the room and show you how it is set up for the fall theme, as well as some snippets of our children at each center. On our writing table, I have cut out different leaves and these are from our seasonal coloring packet over on Teachers Pay Teachers. And then I have a photo on the wall that shows the different leaves. And we also, of course, have been exploring different leaves during circle time and at the science table. So now the children can take the markers and crayons and they can color the leaves different fall colors. Our science table has our little light panel on it. We have pine cones and we have twigs. And then I've asked the children if they can bring in leaves from home and they can put it at this table. In our dramatic play area, we have our woodland animals, we have food, we have woodland animal masks that the children can wear, we have wood bowls and wood containers. This area will be transitioning into a Thanksgiving dinner as we get closer to Thanksgiving. And if you'd like to see how that is set up, I will drop a link to last year's video where I show how we have it set up along with a printable menu that goes with it. In our block area, we have forest animals and we have assorted blocks, tree blocks. We have some Lincoln logs in there. And then on the shelves, we have some other choices of blocks too. On our activity table, we have different printable activities that are in, a lot of these are free printables on the website or they might be part of packets. And the links to all of these are in this video's description. We're also doing something with pine cones this week where the children have a choice. One tray is to press pom-poms into the pine cone. One tray is to wrap yarn around the pine cone. And another tray is to wrap rubber bands around the pine cone. Where's the little tree? Yeah, Papa. One of our art activities during this theme will be making a thankful banner. This is a free printable that's on the website. I will drop a link in the video's descri description because it also shows how we make it. But I'm changing it out this year a little bit. So I started this actually last year and instead of having them do construction paper leaves and pressing pom-poms on it, instead I actually took the printable itself 
and I copied it onto cardstock. They're going to run their rollers across bubble wrap that has different colors on it. So they're going to mix it and then they're going to press their leaf onto the bubble wrap to make a print. So children have a choice of rolling right on the tray or they can roll on the bubble wrap. Let's see what happens when we pick up the leaf. You pick it up. You help me. Pick it up. And then we press the leaf down. And there it is. This is gonna be for our friendship banner. And even though we were thinking they could press the leaf down to make a print, they, they want to roll again right on top of it. And you know what? That is just fine. So this is the tree that the three-year-olds painted. It's gonna be for our Thanksgiving feast and they told us that we could add to it. So we're stamping some leaves on it using cookie cutters. So today we are painting a turkey feather because all of these turkey feathers, each child is painting one, is going to be attached to a turkey that is going to be displayed at our Thanksgiving picnic. And this is the turkey body. I just have to add the eyes to it and then we'll attach all the feathers around it. On our light table, we have colored blocks. And I thought I would mention that we've moved our light table. So we switched out our writing table for and where our light table used to be. I just switched them. So the writing table is now over near our circle time area and our light table is over in this corner. I like to move things around now and then. I think it keeps things fresh. So we'll see how it does with this change. In our sensory table, we have little baskets, we have rattan balls, we have pine cones, we have scoops, and we have brown dyed rice. On our Play-Doh table, we have leaf cookie cutters as well as other Play-Doh tools. And for circle time, we have an assortment of different activities. And I have actually created a separate video that shares all of these. So make sure to check that out. I will drop the link to that video in this video's description. So that's how we have our classroom set up for our November fall themes. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up as that helps our channel grow to reach more teachers. And make sure to subscribe to Teaching Two and Three Year Olds on YouTube and click that bell icon so that every time I publish a new video, you'll be notified. Thanks for watching.